what is up everybody it is your boy the wrestling figs and we are back today with another video today we will be going on a epic toy hunt epic toy hunt as we head over to Ames, Iowa, which is much different from where I usually toy. I usually I'll go out to Des Moines and some other bigger parts of uh, Iowa. But today, we're heading north up to Ames and we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna check out some Targets, some Walmarts, and we'll see what, we'll see what we can find, see if we can find some good stuff. So yeah, let's wait no more, let's get her going, and let's get this drive going. A quick 30 minute drive, but anything is for the figs. Let's do it. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've made it to Ames. First stop, we'll be heading into the local Target. It is not a super Target, which is a bit of a bummer, but we'll be going on in, see what kind of figs they got, see if we can find some NXT, some Hall of Champions. We got tons and tons to look for. Should be a good time, and let's get it. Alrighty, so here we are in the Target, and let's see what we can find. And oh my goodness, right off the bat, we got that brand new Hall of Champions Batista figure. Let's take a nice panel of this. Oh, what an absolute beautiful, beautiful figure. What else we got? Oh, we got that Undertaker Hall of Champions as well, as well as Eddie Guerrero. And let's see what else. We got another Batista up here. We'll set him on down here. And let's keep on looking. Another Undertaker. Oh, was that Rikishi I might have spotted? And then we got some of those awesome Hall of Champions battle packs. And we got the New Day 2 pack as well. Also, Big Cass, he is not with the WWE anymore, and you can't teach that. <laughs> All right, let's keep on cruising through. We got that uh, basic 81 Sami Zayn. Let's toss him. He's not what we're looking for. Oh, we got the American badass, The Undertaker, with that awesome undisputed championship. Look at that absolute beauty of a belt. That's incredible. We're going to set him down here. That's a, that's a maybe. He's in a strong maybe pile of if we pick him up. And then also we got that Neville, some more of these Hall of Champions, and let's see, <gasps> look at this NXT, NXTs are on sale, we got Ty Dillinger, we got Alexander Rusev Machka, Austin Aries, look at this, that's his first Elite 2, again, too bad he's also not with WWE anymore. And over here we got some of the Retros, we got Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, Goldberg, and Dean Ambrose. What a great selection they had here in the Ames Target. This Batista figure is an absolute work of heart and we're taking him home with us. So we are all done here at the Target and let's go on ahead and let's hop on over to the Walmart. Boom! And check it out, we are here. Let's see if we can find ourselves some new figs. All right now, so I've never been to this Walmart so I have no clue where the figs are. So I'm just running around not, not knowing where anything is, but we'll find them. Come on now, figs, figs, figs. Where are the WWE Mattel figures? <gasps> there they are. Check it out. As you can see right off the bat, we got a pretty decent selection. We got the WrestleMania battle packs, which have been in stock for a while now. And we got that John Cena, Nikki Bella pack. And look at Nikki Bella's face. She is like, why are we still here? <laughs> awesome. So other than that, let's see what else we got. We got some more of those. We got the Miz and Maris. And let's keep checking her out. Down here we got some of the belts and we got Cowboy Bob Orton. We got Kurt Angle in his general manager attire. And there we have him. We have 10, 10, 10, 10. Ty Dillinger. Up here we got Finn Balor with the money in the bank. Another Finn Balor. We got Alicia Fox and some more 10s. We got Natalia up there. We got that really old Typhoon figure. We got some of these older battle packs as well. And then we got that Rick Rude. And let's see what else we can find. Ooh, here are the elites. Let's move this angle out of the way. We got Mickey James coming on over. We got Seth freaking Rollins burn it down himself with the new attire from WrestleMania. That's an awesome figure. We're going to put him over here in the maybe pile. And let's keep checking it out. There we got that IRS as well as another Kevin Owens. And we got Shinsuke Nakamura with that awesome strong style has arrived shirt. That is another awesome figure over here in the maybe pile. Look at this absolute work of art. And over here we got the man formerly known as Baron Corbin. Now he is Constable Corbin. And let's keep checking it out. Let's see, we got that Kurt Angle. We'll move him out of the way again. More Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens show left and right. Hopefully the man walking out of SummerSlam with the Universal title is Kevin Owens. And let me know in the comments below who you think will be walking out of SummerSlam with the Universal title and what match you're looking forward to the most. But yeah, so we got that Seth Rollins and it's, you know what? 
it's a hard maybe on this Rollins. We're burning, we're gonna put him down here. We'll save him from enough for another day. So that is it for Walmart. Nothing we needed here, and let's head on out. So while on the way home, I saw that there was a hot topic out here in this mall. So I was like, hey, might as well check it out, see if I can find myself some Young Bucks Pops, some Bullet Club Pops. So we're gonna go on ahead, we're gonna get on in there, and we're gonna see what we can find. Let's get it, baby. So we've made it here to the Hot Topic. Take a look at that. And let's go check out some of the shirts and look at all these wrestling shirts. They've got the Bullet Club, they've got WWE, they've got the Young Bucks, they've got AJ Styles, they got them all. And now let's go pop on over to the Pops and here we are, and boom! Right off the bat, we got the Young Bucks! Young Bucks! Pop, and that is incredible. Let's see what other kind of sweet Bullet Club merch we can find. Check out this awesome jawstring bag with all the Bullet Clubs on there. And speaking of Bullet Club, we got a wallet, we got pins, you name it, Hot Topics got it. And these are what we're taking home. The bag has been secured. We got our bag, and let's head on home and get her opened. Alrighty, so we are back from the toy hunt. As you can see, one of our pickups was the Batista action figure. Take a look at this absolute beauty. Comes with the World Heavyweight Championship, and I've always wanted a Batista with the World Title in my collection. Um, we're gonna get this bad boy opened up. We're gonna switch on over to the uh, unboxing station. We'll get it all opened up for you guys, and we will put it into the collection. I'll show you guys an updated loose action figure collection as well, and that is all leading up. Everything is leading up to the room tour that has been plugged left and right on this channel. But yeah, we will be finally getting that room tour up. Hopefully we can get that up here in a week or two. We're home for a week or two. And yeah, so we're gonna go on, switch on over, open this bad boy up, and let's get it going. Pew. Boom! So we have made it over to the unboxing station. As you can see, we're getting a bit of a closer look here at the Batista action figure. This is from the Target Hall of Champions line, and I'll tell you this, I absolutely love the line. Here are the other people in the set. We got The Undertaker, Rakishi, as well as Eddie Guerrero. This is his attire from WrestleMania 21, where he defeated Triple H for the World Heavyweight Championship, which is included right here, as you can see. So let's just wait no more, and let's get this puppy all opened up. I'm sick of all these people talking out their heads. I'm all right, so he is all out of his packaging, and here he is. He just looks absolutely incredible, looking ripped out of his mind. As you can see, he's got that little the uh, belly button tattoo, as well as his the animal trunks. And on the back, it's got him doing his famous little... <laughs> looking all great. And let's take a look at some of his accessories now. He comes with this incredible glossy world heavyweight championship which for my money this is possibly the best belt one of my favorite belt designs that WWE has ever done and as you can see it just absolutely looks incredible on the animal himself one thing I wanted to point out was this little backdrop that the action figure comes with as well as all the ones from the Hall of Champions line this is actually a really, really cool backdrop. Got all the titles on there. Well, not obviously not all of them, but has a lot, a very good variety of titles on that, which is really, really cool. So I really like that, honestly. I may keep that for some purpose down the road. As well as that, he comes with this WrestleMania 21 little contract that he had to sign just days, weeks before his battle with the game. As you can see, you can read it there a little bit. There's that. Um, again, not really sure what I'm going to do with this, probably just it, set it right over here, as well as his little pen, so he can put that in his hand, sign the contract, make it official. Let's take a look at his head scan here. I can definitely see the likeness in him. It looks just like old Big Dave, Big Dave Batista, also known as Drax to some of our Guardians of the Galaxy fans. On the back, he has that awesome big back tattoo, as well as, like we said, his signature pose down on his trunks. He comes with two elbow pads, boom and bang, as well as two knee pads, just like the signature animal would wear back uh, during WrestleMania 21. And here are his boots. And just for a little bit of a comparison, I'll put up a picture right here of his WrestleMania 21 attire. And as you can see, it looks really well. Got the red trunks, got the animal, as well as got the World Heavyweight Championship. Alright, so there you have it. There is the toy hunt as well as the figure review. Again, the Batista action figure is absolutely incredible. I am in love with this figure. 
Love Batista, love the world title, and just all in all, an absolute great, super fun toy hunt. Thank you again for coming along on this journey for with me. And as you can see, yes, I am rocking a Maverick by Logan Paul hoodie. No, I'm not 12. I'm 19 years old, but it's a pretty cool hoodie. So I was like, you know what? Might as well cop. So yeah, there's <laughs> there's the video for you. Um, thank you again for checking out the channel. Be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and punch that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. Tons of fun videos coming soon. You won't want to miss it. See ya.